connected. We just uh, Okay, hello, hello everyone. Good afternoon. This is Elaine, your chef from Huayanay. Today's menu, we'll be doing a peanut bed. As you can see in front of me, I have all the ingredients here are my veggies. I have bitter melon, ampalaya, bark paria, uh, eggplant, talong, tarong, and tomato, kamatis, the same thing in Ilocano is kamatis, and I have um, long beans, sitaw, uh, utong, uh, sweet chili, sili, uh, I think they call it uh, pahabang sili, I don't know, yung Tagalog, but um, I have wing beans, um, palang, or uh, is it cigarillas in Tagalog, but um, and okra uh, is all in Tagalog, look the same okra. And also, I have a lima beans patane, but it's optional. And also, I have the alukon flour, uh, also, it's optional if you can't find it in your area or in your store, uh, don't stress about it. And I also have a ginger and garlic. And today I'm using my leftover uh, pork adobo, but you can use any um, meat that you want or no meat, uh, just straight veggies is fine. So um, let's check. I preheated. Um, I have my uh, my probe. Uh, I'll just show it to you. This is my probe. I to set the temperature. Just press the temperature and press the up button I will put it to 375 if you press uh, one by one it's increments of five um, so let's see 375 and then I'll just plug it in you need a barrette so um, I already preheated my 12 inch electric skillet so to test if it's ready I'll just uh, dump a uh, clear, uh, just regular water, any water, and if you see um, dancing, then it's all good. Like um, the water, <laughs> if you can see it, like water pearl, like dancing around, it's it's all good. So let's pour. I'll just use my gloves, but I wash my hands already. So I just dump my meat inside. It's already cooked because it's, it's my leftover um pork adobo. So I'll just dump my ginger and garlic inside. So just to take a little bit, you know to make the ginger and the um, garlic a little brown. So hello everyone, thank you for tuning in with me. Um, I wanted to shout out with my family in the Philippines, Canada, uh, I'm in the mainland and here in Hawaii and also to all my friends all over the world Philippines Australia Canada mainland and here in Hawaii I don't want to mention any um I don't want to go one by one because I don't want to miss one <laughs> so just hello to everyone and thank you for tuning in with me Emerson and hello to my friend Emerson <laughs> in the Philippines Happy anniversary to you and to your wife. I hope you're doing a special, um, special thing for her. And to my, uh, to all that are here right now, Lunila Barrett. Is it mm -hmm. Lunila? Lenida. Lenida Barrett, thank yeah. you for um, 
watching. Chris Fernandez. And Christopher Fernandez, my husband friend. Thank you for watching. And, uh, well, uh, I don't see any more names, but if uh, you are here, thank you for watching. So now my garlic and ginger is a little brown, so we can put our um, tomato already. I want to put some later in the on the top, so I'll just put some on the side. Okay, so we'll put our vegetables. Did you put any oil? No, no oil because uh, the meat that I have, it, it creates oil. So you don't put any oil on it. So I'll just put my bitter melon first, ampalaya or parya. The bitter, the better. Uh, the bitter the butter, but um, I'm, um, my husband said it's not really bitter when I cook it, so we'll see. So I have my bitter melon inside and my um, eggplant. So eggplant. And I have my okra. So I'll just dump everything inside. You don't need to worry about... Um, about what what goes in, but that's why how how that's how I put my vegetables. The uh, bitter melon goes in first. Judy so, Jane. So now I'm putting my wing beans, uh, long beans, and my sweet chili. Uh, Judy Jane Tamagai, thank you, my friend, for watching from the Philippines. So just put everything. Bit, but I'll just okay. All right, then I'll put my lima beans. Alrighty, and of course my alokon. If you don't have alokon in your place, um, or you can find anything, this is optional in the lima beans. Yeah, I just wanted to put it in because I just harvested in my backyard from my dad's um. Cutting. <laughs> Cuttings. <laughs> it's it's growing, so under it produced flowers. So I said, ah, oh, let me just harvest it. So I'll, I'm putting it in. Okay. So and of course, uh, I put uh, two two tablespoon of um uh, baguong. Okay, just two tablespoon of baguong, and then I'll put some of my the kamatis or tomato <laughs> sorry I was saying it in Filipino but yeah so there you go there you have it now I'm just gonna make sure that everything is inside yeah so when we close the lid it will create a vacuum seal all right so let's just push it in Some visibles are going out. <laughs> Sorry. I'll just push it in. Alright. So, there you have it. We're just going to wait till um, my bevel bulb um, clicks. I'll put this all on the side. There you go. Inch is skillet that I have in here. Um, I can you can bake in here, you can fry, and you can also grill. Um, so when you baking, um, like the uh, banana cake or any cake that you wanna um, bake, you just have to close it. But if you fry it you just take the lid off all the way or if you want it um, I mean yeah fry sorry fry is just to crack a little bit just so the um, the cold air goes in and the hot air goes out but if you're grilling you just have to remove the um, the cover all the way and um 
Oh, well, if you see on my other videos, I was using my, um, like my sinigang. I was using my um, seven quart, I mean, not seven, but it's five quart wok, which you can, um, you can earn it uh, as a referral gift for those of you that live here in um, America. Uh, you can refer your friends, your family, and then I'll be happy to do a virtual uh, demo or cooking demo with them if they live um, across the island or other state. But if they live here in Honolulu, uh, Manila, uh, in Wayanai, um, then th there's a way that I could go to their house. I would be happy to do an in-person cooking demo with, for them. And I'll be happy to cook them um, lunch or dinner. Uh, and so if you would like to do a virtual demo with me or in-person demo, you may um, reach me by messaging me here in Facebook um, or uh, in text me or call me on my phone if you know my number. But um, or you can also text my husband if you're friends with him and he can relay your message to me. And um, yes, so uh, I will be happy to give you all the details. I will be happy to share you the benefits of our cookware. Um, and uh, of course, um, if you have any question, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, it is good. This is one of my family's favorite is the pinak bed. Um, so for, um, uh, in my other cookwares, I have here, uh, as you can see, it's all, um, stuck. Uh, together because the the lids are are invertible lids invert uh, you just have to flip it and stack them together that's how you um, store them in your cabinet so so this is my 11 inch skillet my 9 inch skillet where I cook my uh, this is where I cook my um, my veggie pineapple upside down cake. You can also um, bake in here in the 11 inch skillet if you have uh, friends coming over and uh, and of course if you will have more um, more visitors, it's better to cook in your 11 inch skillet is bigger. But for my family, <laughs> uh, I use my 9 inch skillet. Is good enough for us for our um, dessert, and also this is a uh, one quart saucepan. So and here I have a handle that is versatile that you can use to any size of your cookware. As you can see, this is a uh, one quart saucepan. And there you have it. It's a uh, it's a handle, and you can also use it for your for the nine inch skillet. What to do? There you go. See? So you can. We have one quart. The smallest that we have is one quart um, saucepan, and the biggest um, pot that we have is the six, sixteen quart. Or you, you, where you can cook a big, um, big portion of soup, like your kalbeng, your biligot, <laughs> or, uh, or your pho. And also, for if you have a bigger family or have a big uh, party, you can use a 16 quart to cook all your, um, your lauya or adobo. So that way, it's just in one big pot. And this is my 11 inch skillet. See, there's, see, it's only one handle that you use to each one of them. And 
of course, to minimize your storing it, you just flip it, the cover, flip it down, and stack them together. See? See? And also, I have my five-part wok, which I use for my, uh, my sinigang, my waterless sinigang. And um, you can also use your handle in here. See? But when you're cooking your, um, your food, of course, you just put it in your stove. But please don't forget to remove your um, handles because this can melt as, um, and um, just put them, put them back in your pot when they're, if you're ready to um, remove them on the stove and ready to um, serve. So in here, you can also serve straight from your pot. So, and you don't need to um, take out your food uh, and transfer them, transfer them into a different dish. Because this can be just your serving dish already without just remove the handles. Okay, and this five quart wok in here, if you live here in America, you can earn them as um, a, a referral gift. So if you want to know more about it and how the, the details on how to earn it, just uh, message me and I'll be happy to give you the details. And also we have the, um, the food processor, but we call it salad master um, machine which I use to cut my vegetables and fruits for my pancit, for my uh, rainbow salad. And also this um, piece in here, uh, this is where um, you can separate them. Um, and this is, where the, um, this is where they the salad master name began in 1946, the salad machine in here, salad master processor. And of course, that salad ma master, uh, salad master, um, food processor or salad machine. Uh, we have five different cones. Uh, so cone number one is your. Uh, this is for your uh, to cut your cheese. You know when you're doing your um, or small pieces. This is the cone one. I uh, where I used to shred my or cut my um, my fruits and veggies for my uh, veggie upside down pineapple cake. And for my pancit, of course, for my, um, for cone two, I use for my um, shredding my carrot. And cone three is, uh, you know, when you're doing your um, uh, french fries, is cone three. Cone four is a, a slice, thin slice cut. You can use this for your uh, cabbage when you're cutting your cabbage for your pancit. And cone five is your waffle, uh, your potato chips, or you can also use this to cut your um, your uh, uh, your carrots, or if you wanted to make a design for your pancit. And also the number four, thin slice. So you can make any style of uh, vegetables that you want to put in your um, in your pancit, and because um, these are all different um, different sizes, different cuts. So the small, the bigger you go, the bigger size um, of cuttings that you you get. So five cone right there. And um, also we have the uh, double wall um, salad, salad bowl. bowl. This is the medium bowl that I have. This is what I use for to catch all my veggies or my fruits when I'm cutting it. This is double wall. So um, if you put them in the fridge, it, it will stay cold your food. If you have a hot food, it will stay hot because it's a double wall. So, um, yes, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to um, give you the detail on how to earn this um, salad machine. 
and also the five quart walk and also we have a ongoing um promo this month that the limited uh, three quart gourmet walk is smaller version of five quart walk um but the design this handle right here is uh gold and the handle the lining or the trim is gold so and they only produce um uh, limited amount of that so that's why it's called limited because we only have it in a certain certain month which is this March month of March that's what the promo and of course I want to share you our handles are ergonomic so it's so it's it's good for your hand when you're handling it unlike other other um, handle it's just straight so Uh, for this month, we have a special promo that um, that's going on. If you want to know that special promo, you can uh, email me, message me uh, here in Facebook, or you can message my husband. If you're friends with my husband and you're not my friend in Facebook, you can message my husband, and he can relay my uh, your message to me because I can't disclose any amount uh, for our promo or any uh, amount for our cookware. So I would be happy to answer your question uh, if you want to know our promo. And, um, and sorry, I can't really see my computer that far, but um, I'm looking at my husband's cell phone uh, Alicia, thank you so much for tuning in with me, sister, and also my cousin Danila uh, Monroy from the Philippines. Thank you for watching, and Gian Hirao, thank you for watching, and for all those of you, um, oh, Ateneng, thank you so much for <laughs> watching and tuning in with me. Um, and also, um, if you haven't um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please uh, check it out. It's, uh, it's under Ella's Smart Cooking. Please don't forget to subscribe. And, my live videos. and of course, my live videos is all, uh, also there. And my uh, cookbook is also in my YouTube channel. So please subscribe and click the bell button to be notified for my uh, next upcoming video upload uh, when my husband uploaded um, yeah so there you have it uh, I believe our peanut bed is ready because I see the bibo bulb <laughs> is up let's see there you go it's all good so let's see Let's see here. The reason why we just dump everything in at one time is because we don't want to keep stirring our um, vegetables. Because in Salad Master, we believe that um, uh, to retain the nutrients and the flavor and minerals of your food is to just keep them inside and just um and um, just cover it and when the uh, when your vapor bulb uh, start clicking and then you turn it to low um which um so it's uh, in salad master cooking is medium click low because the higher the um the temperature that you put in cooking your base balls or your meat or any food that you're cooking um the you're you're losing a nutrients to it so let's see my husband is already ready to taste <laughs> let's see here I have the eggplant. 
my string beans. I have the sweet chili, uh, wing beans, uh, okra, and um, let's see, where's my bitter melon? It's all the way inside. So let's, oh, there you go. I have I've seen one bitter melon. And of course, my lima beans. Okay. And also, um, I don't know if you've seen my all my videos, but um, we also cook rice uh, in my uh, okay. You go. I'm gonna go closer so show you. So I have all the vegetables in here yeah the bitter melon wing beans okra the long beans and the sweet chili so mm, it's crunchy but it's cooked and the bitter melon is not bitter at all why <laughs> secret <laughs> what is the secret my <laughs> Okay, your bitter melon, when you cook it, do not keep stirring it so that way it's not gonna be bitter. That's why in Salad Monster, when you cook it, you just leave it, don't touch it. You're only gonna stir it when you're ready, when it's all cooked. Okay? You keep so stirring, you keep, yes, because once, once you keep uh, stirring it, when you keep stirring your your food or keep opening your food you're leaching out the nutrients and the um, minerals of your food that's why we don't um we just dump everything inside just let it cooked and when it's cooked it's you just have to that's when you are ready to mix your vegetables or your whatever you're cooking so that way you retain all the nutrients and minerals of your food so it's really good Mm. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> this is my favorite. This is my family's favorite. So, thank you everyone for tuning in with me. And please don't forget to check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. And if you have any uh, suggestion of cook, uh, what I'm going to be cooking, um, you can message me and I'll be happy and try to cook the food that you want. Thank you. Have a good day and take care. God bless. Aloha.